fits you. It's not about, I have to be Tristan. I'm going to go to Savile Row in London and I'm going to buy a $10,000 suit. No, get into good shape. Buy a Hugo Boss suit. A couple hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks you could put one together. Have someone you know with a sewing machine. Taper it in a little bit at the sides. Make sure that the leg is the exact right length. But if you are shaped like a man in good shape, the suit's going to look good on you. Be in shape is the number one fashion advice I give to anyone cares what the best of the best in the world does but when you're on the come up you haven't done anything in life and you're trying to actually network meet people and move up in life you better present yourself in a way that commands respect now this doesn't mean that you're wearing a suit and tie this means you know your audience you're clean cut you're carrying yourself with respect you're looking people in the eye and you're just simply taking pride in the way that you're perceived this is not an every single day thing but live your life with intention and watch how other other people will naturally respect you more just because you've done the little things right on the front end. I've done seven tour lectures so far and with an average audience size of about 2,500 and they're going great. They're unbelievably positive. Everybody, almost everybody dresses up, which I think is really cool. Really? Yeah, well, when I went out on tour in 2018, before I went out, I thought I wanted to do this like 100% right, or at least as close to that as I could manage. So I went out and bought some expensive suits, and I spent way more money on. This is one of them, actually. You look way, great, by the way. Thank you, okay. thank you. Way more money than I ever thought I'd spend on clothes. And I really felt quite bad about it. You know, I thought maybe it was an extravagance, but I thought, no way, man, I'm going to see if I can nail this dead on, and I'm going to be speaking to, you know, 100,000 people. I'm going to look as sharp as I possibly can. And uh, one of the consequences of that has been that young men in particular come to the lecture tour dressed up in suits, three-piece suits, they're, or the couples come and they're dressed up like they're coming to a wedding. Or So that's really something. And uh, Why do you think that is? Why do you, is, is it because you set that they're standard? They're sick acting like kids. Okay. You know, our whole culture pushes the idea that teenage life or even childhood for that matter, but teenage life is some sort of pinnacle and then everybody dresses down so they look, especially men, they look like overgrown 10 year olds and there's something extremely demeaning about that. And so to provide people with the opportunity to dress up in a, in a classic manner and to look like adults, to present themselves in that manner, there's something very attractive about that because we haven't done that in our culture. That's been, I would say, downplayed in importance or 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 for for certainly since the 1960s who's you know? to blame for that because you recall anytime you would fly in an airplane if you see old school pictures the people were dressed in three-piece suits to go on an airplane this is in the 60s i assume yeah. and then now you see someone like mark zuckerberg wear a t-shirt to give a speech in front of a ted talk or something like that so well who's some, to blame of, it, for this dress some of it's just fashion you know i mean fashion moves around and then and it's, it usually drifts from the top down. And so when formality becomes the norm, it, but that drifts down, to, say, to the working class, then the upper class thinks, well, we can't do that because that would, you know, associate us with the unfashionable people. And then they dress down. And so then that drifts down the hierarchy. And so there's some of it, some of it's just fashion, but a lot of it, too, is this idea that th this sort of reflexive rebellious attitude that anything that violates traditional norms or even anything that's associated with patriarchal oppression and adulthood is to be eliminated in favor of what's hypothetically a more free individuality but it's not because everybody looks the same I was in Washington four or five years ago maybe longer than that it's probably longer than that when I first went in the summer and one of the things that really struck me all these people wandering around these great monuments is all the men looked like overgrown 10 year olds. They, they looked exactly like their kids, except they were bigger. They looked like they'd been inflated mm. with a bicycle pump. And I thought this is weird that, that adults are dressing like children and not good. And so some of it's fashion, but some of it's also that. Is it exclusive in America? How about in Canada? What have you seen all over the world with this? No, I don't think it's exclusive to America. I think it, it was more noticeable to me in Washington. And I think that's when it really hit me because Washington is in some sense a place of pilgrimage and people from every class go there and, and that's that's a good thing and, and they should from every economic class and so it was like a cross, it was a real cross section of the total population and that was one of the things that struck me quite quite bluntly and so anyways it's very nice to see all these people when dressed you, up and when you let's, let's hop into it bro. The title of this video is going to be something along the lines of like, 
dress and press and let the hoes do the rest or uh dress in fashion to get you some action fucking bars check me out though this is very fucking important the way that you dress and the way that you carry yourself a lot of people don't know this certain type of game nobody not a lot of people know about this shit and i'm just uh, coming to it like i'm new to it because i always knew to dress nice you want to dress nice if you dress nice, you going to feel nice. The way you move, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself is going to be way more attractive. You're going to be more confident. If you take care of your haircuts, you get your, your hair done, all sorts of things. You do the thing, you you rocking your drip that you truly feel is right, that you want to rock. Certain type of aura around you that other people can feel and it will be, will be amplified on retention. Because your aura and the way that you feel and the emotions that you really feel on retention is something really different. You really feel how like how you're feeling your emotions if you feel really good and you having a good day everything like that you put your music on like how i did today it just hits so different everything really hits different on retention and when you have this aura around you of pure confidence in the way that you move and that you move like a king nobody no nobody can fuck with you no one in this air especially in your areas bro if you're like in a small town like how i am bro I rule this bitch. <laughs> like, I keep it a beam. Like, I rule this shit. Around the way you see me, I'm dripped out. I am I'm, I'm I got some shit on me. The way that I dress, I can dress in all certain type of ways that I can pull it off, right? For instance, I got like a little black uh jean jacket with my black shirt with my uh my chain and everything like that. And I stand out in front of everyone, even just wearing something so plain as black. And I really want y'all to understand this certain type of game where you can mix like masculine qualities with feminine qualities and they will that will make women go crazy like i really want you to understand this real quick right check me out right so when we watch like movie stars and we look at like all of these movie stars and shit like that we look at like what's that guy leonardo dicaprio and all that shit like right in these movies these guys are very masculine they carry these masculine qualities of like not talking as much and just doing the actionable like crazy steps where like a girl gets her fucking purse robbed he comes and breaks that dude's face and like oh the bitch loves him and shit but it's more deeper than that understand when you look good and you take care of yourself and you're handsome right i really want y'all to analyze and like understand this is the flesh so all you have to do is make your flesh look right and internally, you will feel better in your your aura and your presence. And what you feel in the inside will burst out. You will feel 10 times better when you got that haircut. That's why when, when I get my haircut, hide your bitch for sure. Like not a question. I get my hair done. Hide her. You, you put her on a leash. Do something because she's coming with me if she sees me come through the cut. Right. But like I said, with these movie stars, they have like this movie star energy. People be talking about this, that. It's because they're confident and they look good. And they got, they built an ego off of people telling them, oh, you're a handsome man. Or, and if you put it in perspective of like why a woman develops an ego, even like these big, ugly women, like disgusting looking women, I'm sorry to tell you. A lot of them develop egos based off people like you. You bought bums who are simping over these bitches telling, oh, you look so beautiful. You look like this, that, and the third. She done heard this shit all the time. So if like for me, when people call me handsome, I'm this, that, and the third, I kind of develop this ego of myself or like, okay, yeah, I know. You feel me? That a, a big bitch is feeling that, but you're not feeling that way because you don't know how to carry and how to move. And I'm going to teach you all of that. But that is why you develop an ego and you have like this aura. Like, yeah, I am like the shit. When a girl is beautiful and she carries herself like she's the shit, that's some of the most attractive things like in the world. So if you do the same thing, you're confident, you're masculine, you're more of a man. You're not like a little soy boy playing video games, jerking off. You're out here, women all over you and shit like that. That is what you're going to feel. Once you start really getting more women, you're going to have a lot more confidence about yourself and how you look and how you perceive yourself. Me, if you call me ugly, like I remember in middle school, they would call like, like a bitch would try to call you ugly, this, that. Like, I would look at her like, yo, you're retarded. Like, now I would really look at you like you're Ed. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Ugly, you couldn't call me ugly even if you wanted to. If you hated me deep down in your soul, you couldn't call me ugly. That That's how I feel. It's like impossible i don't know what that means but back to what i was saying about the movie star right that energy the way that they dress the way that they walk how they talk like james bond and shit he's a man but he's suited up suited and booted and he's that guy like he's he 
he's he's out here killing he's doing all these crazy ass things and i never really watched the movies but i know of james bond and shit like that and what's the other dude tom cruise and shit these are masculine men but like 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 they have qualities about themselves they have like very good skin their 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 um eyebrows their haircut the you know their haircuts tapered up everything like that they got a good haircut to themselves that fit their face and all sorts of things when you put like somewhat of like feminine qualities with masculine qualities this shit you can overblow like a woman right because a woman always want a guy who's better than them understand i really need you to understand that this is what feminism has gone into now Women always want a guy that's better than them. That's why they look up for the guy who's masculine and superior and is just not a bitch-ass dude that's simping over them because all of these other guys are so in tune with their feelings nowadays. It, it, it's like, okay, I'm dealing with another bitch. Like, it's like another girl. Like, another girl. Uh, one of these femboys is just, like, equivalent to another girl. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, even with their strength, it lies. Like, yeah, I, maybe a girl could be. I know girls that will beat a couple femboys up. I ain't even lie. <laughs> I can't even lie. But for instance, when you have longer hair, or if you like for me, I got long ass hair, that's a flex. Like if you have long hair, that's a big flex in like for women because they notice small details about shit. Like, I don't know if you guys ever talked to a woman or like been around women, but when I'm around them, they they'll like pop in they'll like in their mind and like it'll just come out of nowhere. They'll be like, oh, look at this daisy or look at this plant. It looks so cute. This, that, and third. Look at the green. Look at the little color on it. They notice the small little things. So if you put that into your arsenal where you realize like, bro, having your haircut's important. Dressing to impress and letting the hoes do the rest is important. Learning about drip and how to carry yourself. And I, I'm going to get into like what you should wear. Even if you're broke and shit, I got you, bro. Because my money is not all the way up right now. Like, it's not. But I could still pull it off because I'm Patrick and I'm that fucking guy, right? But, like I was saying, women notice the little things, right? So, for instance, if you were to get your eyebrows done like how I did, bro, my shit's is on point. Like, I got my barber getting me right. If I go get a cut, I'm going to be right. Like, my twist, like... I, like, I'll get my hair done again, all sorts of things, right? Taking care about how you present yourself because understand, you, you are a king, but a king is not a lame. A king doesn't move like a lame. He don't look like a lame. If you look at a king, he's dressed like in the most royal of fashion and the same thing with his queen. His, he's not letting his queen walk outside with like some uh, some bullshit ass dresses. He, she's rocking the top tier dresses, the ones that sparkle, that everyone's in awe of. Be and move like a king understand that your drip means a lot your fashion your drip all of that means a lot like really get that and when you are able to carry yourself and portray such a a, a fucking such a something as like where people are looking at you and looking up to you for this type of shit like your dressing or the way you carry yourself or how you look it, they will succumb to you you can do whatever you want with these people and that's powerful not saying to use it in a bad way but getting more women it just becomes so much more easier they want to notice the little things so if you get your eyebrows and you got a nice haircut you got like nice clothing and all sorts of things you can use certain things to make you stand out like i said you could put feminine qualities right into a masculine man because when you're a masculine guy like i'm masculine myself i don't need to prove that i'm a strong man i train every day i go and do my boxing training a lot i work hard every single day i don't need to prove i don't see no killers out here it's like there's nothing to prove you're a man for the femboys and all of that like you know the the, the ones the male feminists who are in the video games and just virgin skinny like little twigs and shit they need to prove something but me i'm that fucking guy so when you mix feminine qualities like earrings right the little sparkle of earrings can attract someone. The chain, the, the color of a chain, chains can, like, what it does for your drip can amplify it for real. It can make you stand out more. I didn't get this chain for that, but as I learned the game and I really understood, like, yo, this shit means a lot. Bro, this is going to take you to the next level. And, like, like Tristan T saying, like, in, in a lot of his ways of dressing... I really need you to understand if you want to dress better, you just have to look better, right? You have to take care of yourself and be in shape because when you're a man and you got a nice figure and you got broad shoulders, if you're wearing a suit, you're going to look way better in a suit. If you take care of your skin, your skin's going to pop out. You're going to look good. You're, everything about you, just take care of yourself and look better. Get your eyebrows done. Get your haircut done. Uh, Take care of your skin. 
like learn learn clothes and proportions and colors that you like and use it into your arsenal me i love all black but when i wear all black it's different from a fat guy wearing all black you understand i'm in shape if i take this off this jacket off and i got my shirt on i'm wearing wearing just a black shirt with these black 40 dollar jeans i got this shirt like 10 15 dollars at fucking uh h and num and i got my jays these shits actually like 500 but i paid like 250 bro I can wear almost anything. When you're in shape, you can almost wear anything to attract and get what you want out of this shit. Because your aura also makes you feel more confident about yourself. When you wear nice clothes, you will get the hose. Like, you will really stand out compared to all of these random bots. I literally see throughout my day, like, nobody gives a fuck about how they dress or how they take care of themselves or how they look. No one cares about this shit. None. Even, like, the gym guys who are, like, humongous and shit. It's like... I'll still see them wearing like some prissy ass clothes, like some tight ass clothes. I'm like, you just look weird at this point. Like dress professionally, learn this shit because no one else does this out here. You will stand out amongst a lot of the men that she's talking to, that the women that you're talking to, you will naturally stand out using jewelry. If you got like gl glasses and shades or some shit, where my shades at? Uh, I don't got my shades on me, but if I pop out with my shades, your bitch is coming with me too. Like it's like, I'm really him, and it builds up that confidence. That haircut's going... When you get that haircut, I know you feel like you about to take everyone's bitch. That is how the game goes. You feel confident about yourself. So the more you feel confident, the more your aura grows. And this shield around you, people feel this energy. All we are is energy. You will feel this energy. When you feel like someone is like... Like the way they move and you read their body language. Like he's about to come and do something violent. You can tell that beforehand, even before he does it. You understand, like, this guy's coming in, mean mugging, looking at people and shit. You can tell, okay, this might, this guy might be on some bullshit. Like, look at him and you analyze his body language. If a person's shy and scared, you analyze their body language and see how they look and how they maneuver and how they, how they walk and how, uh, yeah, like how they walk and shit. They're all shy, you know, all timid, this, that, and the third, and I'm scared. You can tell a motherfucker's scared. Uh, you want to tell how a guy's confident, like a king? He dresses nice. He take care of himself. He, he dresses, like exceptionally well compared to all the other people and i'm not saying every minute of the day you should be dressed to like to the top t because that's not the case with me like i literally you don't understand when you're in shape you can make a lot of things just work like it just works like if i wanted to dress streetwear for a second i come in i wear my tank top because i love my tank top or i wear some jeans and i stand out in that way I wear nice clothes. I got my Jordans on. I always rock J's because I love J's. But as my money gets up, I'm going to Im implement more suits into my, like, arsenal. So when I really come out the cut, like, I got to go to a business meeting or some shit, I'm going to stand out amongst all of these fat business owners. I'm going to look good. When you, Bro, do you, I'm, I'm going to make a whole separate video on, um, you know how women got pretty privilege? There's a handsome man privilege as well. The same thing where you can let shit slide for a pretty girl because, like, yeah, she's pretty and, like, they, like, kind of manip manipulate. Well, at least she's pretty and, like, you know, she gets to slide away with this compared to a fat bitch. You'd be like, oh, fuck out of here. But when you're a handsome man, you have the same qualities, especially when you're that aura of confidence matches up with how you look. It's a game changer in this world. When you walk in your day and age because... I want you to know that social media means a lot. Like, if you're on dating apps and all this, that, and you got Instagram and your pictures are, like, shit and all of that, it, it's a, it's like, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It means a lot. But what really matters is that you're lit in real life and the way that you move in real life, this is all that matters. Because when women see me, men see me, I get nothing but respect. I'm dressed to a T. And if you're jealous, that's on you. I'm that guy. I'm really him. The women understand that, yeah, that dude is different compared to all the other, other girls with, with boyfriends. Bro, I know this shit. They tell me this type of shit. People that they tell me around the way, they be like, yo, but he was looking good today. I ain't gonna lie. This bitch got a whole boyfriend. In my mind, I would have been like, yo, this bitch gotta go. But like, he don't know. And a lot of guys won't know. So, and dress to impress and let the hoes do the rest. You gotta really understand. And another thing, like I said, for like balling on the budget, this is what we call it. We call it balling on a budget. The thing is, right, you don't outplay your cards that you are right now. Like I'm a brokey. I can tell you, like I'm a poor, I'm not poor, but I'm a brokey. I'm not of where I escaped slavery. I'm still working a nine to five and shit. So I can't just pop out with these thousand dollar suits. I'm not doing that. 
I'm not popping out with like the most expensive shoes that I can just buy and this, that. No, I got to pay rent. I got bills to pay, right? But boiling on a budget can work exceptionally well for you as well. For me, like I said, I got this shirt from H&M. You can make the clothes look better than the average fat guy. If you look at the fat guy or super skinny guy and the proportions of the clothes, they don't fit the clothes standards. It doesn't fit right. It doesn't look right on this person. But if you get a male model, look at the male model. He's like slender, but he got muscle and tone and his shoulders are wide so that his his uh the proportion of his clothes fit well and they look well you must dress to impress at all times because even if you want and you're fishing for women and you're like a little virgin you got to beat off all day you're trying to get some woman and shit you might never know where you're gonna meet this girl if you go to the store you put on your jeans with some jays and nice clothes this down the third and you know she's in like a beautiful girl's in there you can end up getting that girl's number you're not missing out on opportunities you won't be able to miss out if you can constantly dress to like impress dress in a nice mat fashionable manner like if i'm home like chilling at the crib like yeah i'm gonna have a tank top you think i'm wearing these jeans like my jean jacket with my jeans and my jordans on no i'm wearing my crocs i'm wearing my tank top and some shorts i might even just be shirtless but even just like your fashionable, like I said, your fashion, if you're in shape, that is the biggest key way and leeway of this whole thing. If I wear a tank top and J's, all, all I need is a tank top, some shorts and a J, my J's and your bitch is coming with me. I'm there's no no way else I can say this. I don't know how else to say it because when I walk in the cut in the gym the same way that I do with my drip. I got my Jordans on, so I feel good. I like how my Jordans rock. I like that I match. I got my hat on. Maybe I got my hat on. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there swole as hell. I'm I'm not the swollest, but I'm getting in a pump. I'm looking bigger. I'm feeling bigger. I'm walking like this is my this is my whole area. Like I own the gym. It's mine. This is it's only going to boost your confidence in who you are. So the other women they will pick up on it. Men will pick up on it too. I started to see men like low key copy the shit that I do at my area. I couldn't even lie and but i let them rock because in a way they see me as a, like a, someone of higher up and i understand that when you see when you are seen as higher up you there's like it's something crazy that i really want to tell you like i just got out of church right and i love my people at church i love everyone but this woman is telling me like like i just met her and everything like that but she's like yeah i always meet uh i just always see you around that and i was like because i sat at their table because it was pretty packed and I shook my hand, I, I put my hand out and I wanted to talk to them and get to know them. So I'm like, what's your name? This and the third, I'm looking in her eyes, whatever. And she's telling me like, I have a, a, a sense about you that you are like going to be like someone that's going to lead your generation. And I was like, bro, I can't even lie about this shit. I stepped back. I was like, whoa, what the, for real? I'm like, I know that because I truly feel that. But she felt it too. She, uh, I didn't even, bro, this is like the second sentence that she says, bro. I swear to you, I didn't say anything to her for the, all the times that I went to church. She said this to me. Even at my old church that I went uh, a couple months ago, this, this woman literally gave me a passage. She was like, I see you as like a like a, a king from the Bible. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Um, And it was a young king that grew up. Um, I forgot his. Uh, I think it was like 12 or 13. And he, I read the, uh, the chapter. She gave me her Bible to take home and read the Bible of that verse and i understood i was like whoa she's seeing me as someone really higher because i'm holding myself highly i'm confident i'm strong I, I look like a leader and i really am a fucking leader i don't take bullshit nothing and i the way that i'm it's all about the way that you maneuver in your energy and they could feel that spirit within you you can tell when you there's a killer that walks in the room you can tell like in a killer i'm not saying like a guy who's gonna come and shoot you i'm talking about like a real baller a real guy like a real g you can sense that you can sense a lame just look at the lame and how he maneuvers and how he walks and talks and hi guys uh, it's a lame it's a little fucking virgin computer game for, hi how are you uh, fuck it's a little virgin you can sense it you can see it for your own eyes you understand you can tell when someone's a fucking threat you can tell when someone sees themselves as highly. You can feel it. And that raises your points in this game of life. It raises you like because you're higher than the monks of everyone else. No one else knows this. I really hope y'all know this. Like if you really understand this shit and implement this in your life, no one else can fuck with you. You are really someone of a different level. And that's it. And especially when you're on retention, it is amplified. I need you to understand that. Because like I said earlier, we are supposed to move like kings. I hate when people talk about, you keep it up, this, that, or... Like, I like when they say king, 
But most of these people always try to talk about other people are kings. They don't even move like kings. They don't move. That you're disrespecting the word of what a king is. A king is glory. A, clean, a king is that guy. The highest of the highest. So you have to move like one. Real shit. This is bars, bro. This is no cap in my rap, bro. Also, another thing I want to say. Like I said, women pick up on the small things, right? So she might see my earrings and that shit dance. But, like, I like how my earrings are regardless. I'm going to rock them anyways, whether a woman likes them or not. She's going to see, and the little sparkle catches her eyes. The chain, the sparkle catches her eyes. Also, understand, if you want to know anything about game and, like, picking up women and shit, you just learn from pimps. Pimps' jobs are literally to get money out of a girl. And they have, like, 10 to 20 of them. And they fuck... Bro, the girl fucks another guy and gives her the pimp the money if you want to know about women and psychology and how they move go watch a pimp real shit i'll probably leave a couple clips maybe of some pimps in the beginning of this video so that you can really understand some fucking game bro if you see a pimp they are they mix what i said that the masculine qualities with a feminine qualities because they have they see it for what it is and they understand that if, if I got longer hair than a girl, that's a flex. It really is because my hair is really nice. My And I, I've been grew out my hair before I knew anything of this. I actually grew my hair because um, in the Bible, what's his name? Samson, Samson, uh, even though he, he, he went out kind of bad because he let the girl... He gave the girl his powers, but Delilah, but I love Samson and the strength that he had and everything like that, but I grew my hair out specifically for that. But... Having those qualities where you have longer hair, maybe you're wearing these earrings, it's different. It's really different. Oh, also, they rock clothes that stand out before anything. If you see a pimp, you might think, like, yo, this dude rocking some weird-ass shit. Like, some weird-ass clothes I won't wear. I won't wear that shit that they rock. But in a woman's eyes, when they see some shit like that, it's, like, different. They see it because everyone rocks the same clothes. Everyone wears the same shit. These guys stand out amongst the crowd. They'll rock a purple fucking uh, suit. They'll rock a purple suit, but they stand out amongst everyone else in, within this world. That gives them, like, their aura, their confidence, all of that, their energy. It rises within themselves. Bro, their clothes, I wouldn't wear it. But their hair, also, too, they, they'll have, like, coarse hair, but then they'll get it straightened out, flatlined. If you ever see, what's his name? Um, I'll probably leave a clip of him, too. I forgot his name. Uh, that's my guy. He's one of my favorite actors. Uh. He did Friday after the next. Cat Williams. He played the pimp perfectly to perfection. Where he moving with women and shit like that. And he has like the purple suit. He got straight slick back hair. He has some earrings. Uh, and he's short. But he has the beautiful bitches with him. That is like. That is how they move. Because a woman stands out. He. Bro. You stand out. That's why uh, pimps rock that type of shit. So they can stand out and recruit. Because women like shit like that. Like. No funny shit. That, that shit stands out. It's different. A pimp is always going to, like, they know the most knowledge. They have the most game within women and psychology with women. That's all it is. You want to learn shit about women, go watch a pimp. But they, they always got everything on fleek. Like, you will never see a, a, a pimp move, like, you'll never see a pimp wearing raggedy clothes. He, you'll never see a pimp rocking a, a dingy-ass suit. You'll see a pimp with his clothes perfected. Because he wants to be seen as different and seen like a king that is different from amongst everyone else. You see that suit that they wear, you haven't seen no one in real life rock, rock that shit. And that's where you can say like, yeah, I tip my hat to that because that shit is different. Not saying I'm rocking that shit. But making other clothes that you truly feel like, like, like for instance, I rock like a black button up. I got this like a balling on a budget. Let me go back to that. I rock like this, like balling on a butt. Balling on the budget. Let me get back to that, right? So I got like this little um button up, little black button up from uh Burlington, bro. Like for this old job that I rock, right? Uh, or had, right? And then I got like some black slacks, but I got them tailored so they fit me perfectly. And, and the shirt picks fits me perfectly. Let alone the shit was like probably like 30, 40 bucks. Like, I got this like two years ago. Like the shit still fits me very well to this day. And when I wear that, I feel so good. I feel confident. Everyone's telling me like, yo, like, yo, you got a night, yo, your outfit's so nice, this, that, and the third, you look good, this, that. Bro, you feel it. You feel it. Other people feel that shit, too. You generally look good. And that's like bowling on the budget. I went to Burlington, bro. That's like a, what, what else? Like, that's like a Ross. Like, if you, you got Ross around your way, that is like a Ross. It's like a, a little store, but you can make shit work from these stores. Like I said, H&M, 
$15 shirt. You don't got to go and spend all the money on like Balenciagas and all these like weird ass clothes and shit like that. that I don't I don't even like most of the clothes. So if I wear a big ass shoe of Balenciaga and I don't like it, I'm not going to feel as confident if wearing like my Jordans or like some nice other shoe that I like. You will feel more confident in what you like. So then rock that shit. If your favorite color is white, find outfits that match well with white and rock that shit to a T because your energy is felt more. It felt it's felt way more. It's so much easier to stand out when you're better dressed. In any any situation, you look better. You feel better. People like the people who look better. I like talking to beautiful women. A fat bitch comes up to me. I don't want to talk to you. Right? Like I'm not kicking up to you. I'm not flirting with you. When a beautiful, good-looking man comes in that way, masculine man, but he really could drip out and he got nice clothes and this, that, and the third, they like talking to that guy. They don't like talking to you fat fucks. They don't like talking to all this. Bro, especially when you got that confidence in that game too, bro, you're not going to lose. You can't lose. Let the hoes choose. That's all you got to do. Bro, it's not as hard as people making the seem. It's just you got to do what you got to do. Get in shape so that you can make the clothes uh, look very... Get in shape so that you can make the clothes look really good. Like, real shit. I come up without this shirt. Or if I pull out the tank top, she sees my shoulders. This, that. Hide your bitch. I'm walking around the cut. Bro, holding yourself like a king. Masculine. Shoulders back. Head how high. M making yourself seen as something highly that all the women are going to see you highly. Like, literally, I was just doing laundry. I want to tell y'all this. Because this shit happens on a daily. I'm just doing laundry, bro. I'm putting my clothes into the shit. But before that, I walk in the spot. Everyone looks at me. I look at these two women. They smile at each other. Like, it's like something beautiful. I'm like, everything I say is actually fucking true. I can't even lie about it. Everything I say is true. Not saying I wanted to kick up to them. They didn't look the best to me. But I know it. You can see it. She smiled. I'm standing right next because uh, the washer was on her left. And I'm standing right here. And I had like literally a minute left. I walked in a perfect timing. I had a minute left before my clothes. Um, I throw them in the dryer. And her friend was on the right side. So my middle of the washer, if her friend was right here, she was on the left side. And I'm in the washer in the middle. I'm like, just I'm just standing there for that last minute. And she, this girl looks at her friend and is literally smiling. Why? Because a handsome dude is behind her. She's tweaking. She's nervous. She don't know what to do. She geeks. She's like, ugh, spazzes. I don't fuck. That's how they move. Make girls tweak over you, bro. But literally... Back to what I was saying, my fault about the bowling on the budget. Make good of what you have because this is something that I understand well that once I slowly and keep rising, 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 I'm going to always rock some better shit. I'm always going to get nicer shit. I'm always going to have better things. Like, for instance, I'm in a, a Honda right now. I know as I continuously grow, get some more bread, all sorts of things like that, I'm going to pop out in the vet, you know? So play the cards to your budget as of right now. If you want to be a guy, like a king, even if you're... Even if you're broke, you just got to get in shape and take care of yourself. And the, the clothes you will do, the clothes, you will do more talking than the clothes. The clothes is going to look better. But if you're coming outside with like a neon shirt, pink pants, and this, that, you just look like a goofy. Don't look like a goofy. Make sure you know what makes you feel well and makes you feel good and makes you look good and rock that to a T. Always rock that shit. Rock the things that you like to rock. I know if I'm not even thinking of like an outfit in my mind that I have in my house, I know that if I just wear all black, I'm good. So I got my bread fours. I got my jeans, uh, my, my ripped jeans. I got my jacket, my thing. And I'm just going to church. I'm not popping out in no fucking, like, I don't need to pop out in the suit. If I wanted to, I could to go to church, but it, it doesn't matter. So I know that my cards right now, I'm not, I don't have that much money. So I got to find clothes that look good. Me, I just like to rock tank tops, my shorts and my Jordans and all the hoes geek. It doesn't matter. But when you're rocking those suits, you really stand out in front of people. Like, if you if you look at Tristan Tate, he stands out amongst most anybody. Like, he's tall, strong, 6'4", but he makes the suit look well. If you compare it, like he said, to the, some old head, some old London dude, he's fat and out of shape. Like, the suit's not going to look as well as you on, on him compared to the other guy. So that's why getting in shape is one of the most number one keys of making shit look well. But also standing out. Make the clothes like, if it's, like, a nice red suit, that stands out. If it's a nice blue suit, it stands out. If it's a nice black suit, it's not going to stand out as much. But when it's perfected with your shape and your proportions, you look way better in that suit. Whether it's, you know, it's just a plain black. You can pull that shit off and make it look the best black suit you've ever seen in your life. That is the key to importance of taking care of yourself 
and really understanding that self-improvement, semen retention, all this, this can boost your who you are as a person, your aura. Hold yourself highly as a king and let everything else fall into place. So the last thing I want to say, like I was saying, ball on the budget. I know people who want to get like crazy, good, nice cars when they're broke. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to go spend, like, I know too many people from, like, the inner cities, the fucking bots, re re idiots. They will buy Balenciaga shirts, Balenciaga pants, uh, purple jeans, whatever the fuck, uh, Balenciaga shoes, all this shit. All of this shit. But they're out of shape. They don't look good. They don't make the shit really look like some drip. Because if I put that shit on, I know I'm going to make that bitch look good, but it's on a fat dude. So he goes into the party, he goes into the club, wherever, and he still gets no hoes. No hoes at all. But if you see me in a $4 tank top, or if your bitch sees me, matter of fact, in a $4 tank top, my Jordans, my, snap, my, my, my fitted hat, maybe some jeans or my shorts, She's going to be attracted to me because I'm in shape, I look good, and I take care of myself. But the guy has the more drip. He has, aka, the more drip, but most of these guys come out with some retarded ass clothes, too. Understand that don't be rocking no bullshit either. Like, you're spending thousands of dollars, man. Make sure it's some good shit. Um, look at the guy. Him, he can't fuck with me. He just can't. Even I have an outfit amongst of $150. His outfit is. Two, three thousand, four thousand dollars. Hey, he can't fuck with me because I'm him. I'm that guy. That aura around you too, as well, is going to amplify you. I really need you to understand this. All I had to say, bro. Really dress like a king. Oh fuck, what was this shit? Understand, like, really. But that's all I had to say, guys. Dress like a king. Hold yourself like a king. Hold yourself higher. Make sure that when you look around people, nobody look like you. You take care of yourself. You got different haircuts. This that. When you dress nice, you stand out. That's just a given. Dress in nice clothes. Maybe try red. Try some new things. Try new drip that makes you and you see whether you like it or not, and see if it make it looks good on you. And that's all it is, bro. Really feeling good about what you wear, holding that confidence and that aura around you. Retention is going to keep that shit higher. Like I said, let the hoes do the work. Let the hoes go. On, they gonna do. They gonna tweak and geek regardless. Once you're really that guy. I love you guys, bro. Please make sure to like comment share and subscribe bro and stay yourself stay 300 whatever you do in life trust me i believe you bro